Of course, on the flop, different story. If you have the initiative in the hand as the pre-flop raiser, particularly in a heads-up confrontation, don't give up on winning the pot. We mentioned this very briefly last lesson. Initiative is something you hear me speak about frequently as it's possibly the most underestimated weapon in the game. Here's an example of what I mean. After raising pre-flop with a sexy hand like ace-queen suited, it's disappointing to see a black 4-7-10 flop. However, as a pre-flop raiser, you have the initiative and must continue to use that to represent a hand and tell a good story. After all, let's say in this heads-up pot your opponent is piecing the information together. Well, he's thinking, okay, he raised in a pretty early position at the table, he's bet again on the flop, well, he probably has me beat, and if he doesn't, there's lots of bad turn cards here for me. I'll wait for a better opportunity. This bet on the flop, where you had initiative after raising pre-flop, is called a continuation bet, and is one of the most powerful weapons in Hold'em. To demonstrate how effective it can be, take a look at the following hand where you raise with ace-queen suited and your opponent also with ace-queen suited makes the call. You go ahead and see bet holding just ace high and most opponents will fold in this spot. Now check out the same scenario but the opponent decided to re-raise his ace-queen. It's a small raise but effectively has allowed him to take the initiative in the hand. You decide to call with your ace-queen suited and on exactly the same flop you are now the one folding. Initiative.